matrices. We are going to look at the mix example. You will find this on page 571 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Okay, let's look at this example. If you look there, we can just write down the order maybe. This is going to be a 3 by 3. And this is 1, 2, 3, a 3 by 1. So can I multiply this? Yes. So find the values of P, Q, and R. So first do matrix multiplication. So if I do this, remember, always a row by a column. So this is 3, this is 0, this is 0. Can you see? So it's actually just 3. If I take now this second row, so this is 9 plus 5Q plus 0. 9 plus 5Q. And then this one, this one is not very clear. Let's just see if we can make it a bit, because you cannot see so well there. Okay, that's better. So this is 4 minus 3Q plus 2R. That's actually quite a lot. And then I just rewrite this. But this is equal. So I can now make three different equations. I can say P is equal to 3. That's great. I can also say 9 plus 5Q is equal to negative 26. And I can also say this is equal to 35. So then I'm going to just take it over, simplify, divide 5, and I get negative 7. I'm just solving. But don't forget you have Q, so substitute that in. And then I get, in this case, um, it's going to be positive 21, take over negative 21. That, take over negative 4, and I solve, and I get the value of R is 5. Then M is this, and the inverse is this. So I'm giving you... M as well as its inverse. We're aiming the inverse of this and T is not zero. Write an equation in T and solve it. Now can you remember, let's just move it to this side and move it up a little bit. Now can you remember, let's just do this, that if you take a matrix and you multiply it by its invert, you get the unit matrix. And that's how you form the equation. Write the unit matrix there. And now do matrix multiplication. A row by a column. Okay? A row by a column. It's that. A second row by the column. Second row by the second column. And just simplify it. And now you can go and you can equate. This is equal to 1. This is equal to 0. Can you see it's 0? 60 minus 60, 0. And this is also 0. Negative 5t squared plus 5t squared, that's also going to be 0. And then um, I'm just going to do the last one. This is equal to 1. So these are my two equations. Now I can just factorize it. There, there I did it. Just solve it like you did quadratic equations. If, you can, if it cannot factorize, you can also use the formula. Can you still remember the formula? Let me just show you, minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, you can also solve it by using that formula. Okay, let's move on. Now, I want you to stop the video and do try now 30 number 2, this whole number 2. Okay, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Now, let's start. Number A, solve for x and y. Now, again, just rewrite it first. Okay, otherwise you make easy transcription errors. Okay, can you see again? There's two matrices, so just multiply it. Always remember, row by a column. So 3 times negative 3, that will be... Ne um, negative 9 plus 2, and what will that be equal? That will be equal to, okay, let's just see. This is going to be negative 9 plus 4, that is um, going to be 5. Negative 5, because that's negative, okay? And if I do this one by this one, this is going to be positive 3, do you agree? Plus 12, and that is going to be 15. 
Oh, I just want to use the same color. Okay. And that is going to be equal to x, y. So therefore, the value of x is negative 5 and the value of y will be equal to 15. Okay, let's look at number B. Find the inverse of this matrix. Now, let's just, doesn't matter what you call it. Um, let, I'm going to call it just A. But you can call it B, C, doesn't matter. Okay, and if I find the inverse, then it's 1 over the determinant, so it's 2 multiply 3 minus negative 1 multiply 4. And then I'm going to swap that too, so it's 3 and 2, and I'm going to change this sign, so negative 4 and 1. And then I'm going to simplify, so this is 6 uh, plus 4, so it's going to be 10. And it's 3, negative 4, and 1 and 2. And then I can um, just bring it in, multiply, scalar multiplication here. So it's going to be 3 over 10. It's going to be negative 4 over 10, so it seems to me it can simplify. And then it's going to be 1 over 10, and it's going to be 2 over 10. And then the final answer, if I simplify, so it's 3 over 10, uh, it's going to be 1 over 10. And then this can simplify, so it's negative 2 over 5. And this is 1 over 5. And that's the final answer. That will be the inverse. And then number C, solve for T. Now in this case, I will first also do scalar ma uh, um, matrix multiplication. I just want to create space for us. Just make it bigger. Okay, so let's do the final one. Okay, so the final one will be number C. Now if I write it down, it's going to be 3T and U, negative T and 3U, and then 1 and 2, and 10, and negative 10. Okay, let's again do matrix multiplication. Remember this by this. So if I do that, I'm going to get 3t plus 2u. Okay, and if I go on, I'm going to take this one, multiply this one. So what do I get? Negative t plus 6u. So basically, if I'm going to let's end up, I'm going to say 3t plus 2u is equal to 10. And negative t plus 6u is equal to negative 10. Okay, and then they ask you, solve for t and u. Now, you can solve it with elimination or substitution, but I just want to use now matrices because we're busy with matrices. Now, can you remember, I'm taking it out, the coefficients, so it's 3, so it's 3, and it's 2. And now, remember, t, u. First t, then u. And then equal to 10. And then remember, negative 1 and 6 and negative 10. So basically, I'm going to now, the value of A, let's just write it here, the value of A 
is then that 3, negative 1, 2 and 6. The value of x is that t and u. And the value of b will be that 10 and negative 10. Okay, and then I'm just going to go on and I first, first find the inverse of a. So it's 1 over, let's just multiply, it's 3 times 6 minus 2 times negative 1. That's the determinant, okay? So, and then I swap, so it's 6 and 3, and I change the signs, so it's 1 and negative 2. So if I simplify, this is 18, and this is negative 2, that becomes 2, so it becomes 20. Just want to create that. And it's going to be the 6, the 1, the negative 2, and the 3. I have to move up to finish this sum. And then, basically, I'm, I'm just going to do this, the final step. Remember how I do this? I'm just doing, I say, x is equal. I take the inverse, and I multiply it by b. So what is the inverse? Don't multiply it in first. Can you remember? We can do it later. So first we're going to multiply the matrices, which is next to each other. So first we multiply this two. So, okay, don't forget, row by column. But don't throw your 1 over 20 away, it's still there. So this is going to be 60, and this is going to be 20. And 60 and 20 is going to be 80. Okay, we do it again, multiply. This is going to be 10, and this is negative 30. So it's going to be negative 20. And if I multiply, so this is 80, don't forget, 80 over 20. And this is negative 20 over 20. And then we're going to end up by having, this is going to be 4 and negative 1. So therefore, now don't forget, what was the value of t? It was t and u. The value of x was t and u. So, therefore, the value of t will be 4, and the value of u will be negative 1. And that will be my final answer. But you can do it also with um, substitution and elimination.